To a case of animal cruelty, a kitten is recovering after someone tortured her by setting her on fire. Well, now she's in the right hands and getting the care she desperately needs. 7 Action News reporter Nuprakash introduces us to Hope. How's Hope today? This sweet seven-month-old kitten looks like she's doing okay, but underneath her bandages are severe burns that cover more than half of her body. Pictures of her wounds are just too disturbing to show. I couldn't believe my eyes. I knew she was set on fire. Um, in 25 years, I've never seen something so horrific and sadistic. Laura Zane is the founder of Tail Waggers, a nonprofit organization that helps people help animals. An 85 year old woman found the kitten burnt and emaciated. She took her home for two weeks, and because she couldn't afford to get her medical care, she took her to Tail Waggers. Zane suspects whomever tortured this kitten may have used a blowtorch to do it. Even her ears had been burned. The injuries were so severe, Zane rushed her to Sheehy Animal Hospital in Livonia. It kept cracking open. It looked like the shell of a turtle in really bad shape. Infected. She was emaciated. She only weighs four pounds. She was running a low-grade fever. I can't believe that she was alive. Just wanted to cry. You know, who would do something like that? This kitten has been named Hope. She's had surgery and is expected to make a full recovery, but it won't be quick. We got to kind of let the body do what it does, help it along, um, and get that wound to close up. Once we get it mostly closed, um, she'll probably have a second surgery to finish closing it. She'll probably never grow fur there. Um, she'll have a pretty big scar, but I think even with that, she's going to be adorable. She's a survivor. This cat's not going to quit. And neither are the people who are nursing her back to health. We're not going to stop them until we can show her what life really should be all about. In Livonia, a new Prakash, 7 Action News. Wow. People are so cruel. Now, at this point, there are no clues as to who was behind the abuse. Hope's recovery could take months, so there are no immediate plans for adoption. But if you would like to help Hope, donations are needed for her medical care. Just go to our website, wxyz.com, for a link.